Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from ExudeAutomation.com and welcome to part 7 of our TypeScript Fundamentals video series. And in this video, we are talking about working with interfaces. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 and 6 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of those two parts. Alright, so let's get started. Interfaces. One of TypeScript's core principle is that type checking focuses on the shape that value have. This is sometimes called duct typing or structural subtyping. In TypeScript, interfaces fill the role of naming these types and are a powerful way of defining contracts within your code as well as contract within the code outside of your project. So the interface declaration in TypeScript is going to look something like this. Basically, we are going to say from the previous paragraph is that we are enforcing for any given arrays or any given variable to declare a explicit type rather than just using the type inference. So if you ask me what is type inference, again guys, type inference is something where the compiler of TypeScript will automatically knows that this is the type based on the value that are passing in for that particular variable. So here what we're going to do using the interface is we are going to turn our existing code, which is for the get students, where we passed the any type of array to this array, the explicit type here. So in this example, we are using something like get person. So the person is something which doesn't exist. In our case, it is actually the students. And here, instead of the any array type, we are going to use something like a student info array type. So we are going to do something like that in here, right? So let's quickly see a demo and understand what I really mean. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio Code. So what I'm going to do basically is instead of using the any type that we passed in for the guest students list over here for this particular function, I am actually interested in passing it the exact type or I'm going to say a contract that for this particular student, we need to have these particular fields. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an interface and declaration of interface is very simple. It is like interface, the keyword and the name of the interface, which is followed by this keyword. So again, you can say it is like student info. So again, the interface can actually have a lot of things. You can have a declaration of a method. You can have declaration of a variable and you can have declarations of an anonymous function as well. But here only the declarations of the variable and the method should be there, but not the definition itself. So the definition of the actual method should be within the type, which is going to consume this particular interface. Again, guys, this is the same thing, which is being followed for any programming language. So there is no big deal in here. Right. So what I'm going to do is like for the interface student, I'm going to quickly create a very, very simple thing like name. And if I just go over here, you can see that we are passing in the name, age, phone and language. So let me do this. I'm just going to copy this. Maybe I'm just going to cheat uh, copying in, in here. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here so that I can reduce some time. So the name should be of string type and the age should be of number type and the phone number is also should be of number type and the language should be of a language known type, right? So language known is basically the enum. So I'm just going to save this and let me pull this guy and put this particular interface all the way to the top of this particular file because that's how it can work. So I'm just going to say interface declaration. Save it, right? So this is the interface right now, which is okay. I mean, we have an interface right now. So how do you use this particular interface? So basically what I'm going to do is if I want to use this particular student info and I'm going to say that this particular student is of type student info like a contract for assigning a particular variable to a specific type we used to do what a colon followed by the type so here it is the 
student info interface. So you can see that the interface has a different arrow here. It's like a different symbol in here. So I'm just gonna select that. And you can see we are getting an error in here. If I just go near here, it says that the name age fun language is not assignable to the type student info because the language is incompatible. So the language that we have set is not the one which we have to set actually. If you go over here, you can see that the language is actually expecting us to pass uh, the, we have passed it as a language known, but if you come down over here, basically it is expecting us to pass a string type there, right? So we can change this language known to maybe string. And if I save it, you can see that now it, the, the, the error is gone. And now the compliant is also gone, right? So that's, that's cool. So we are doing it correctly right now. And now for this particular student's list, again, we are going to get an error because you can see that it is complaining that the numbers, the primitive type, but the number is wrapped object of this number when possible, which is of course correct. So now if I change this to student info array, something like this, you can see that the another compliant is also gone. So we are telling that this particular list is of type student info array, right? So now you can see that we are using a type for just the raw array that we were creating before, right? So that's the power of interface that you can see eventually. And now with this changes, if you come down all the way, you can change this any type to student info array and you can see that it still works here, right? So if I try to run this particular piece of code, you can see that it is gonna show us the same result that we were seeing before. So if I just do an F5, you can see that this time also we are seeing the same result, but this time instead of the any of array type, we are actually using the student info array. And the student info is basically an interface, right? So this is how you can actually create an interface. So that's it guys, this is some of the basics of interface and you can see that our file is now getting a little bigger and now we have close to 73 lines of code in here, right? So once we are done with the classes, we will actually move all these hanging pieces to different files so that we can make this particular app.ts file even more tedious, right? So that's it guys, once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.